it's poppin fools it's your boy mark the shark and we are back episode number 19 of bio you squad road to glory and today we're gonna finish up the month of october uh three more games left rochdale south end united and accrington stanley uh three games in the league and then i know i checked the calendar already next month in october we started off with two cup matches one against accrington stanley to end our um no not endar to begin our F fa cup run and north northampton united or northampton i don't know northampton in the efl trophy papa johns yes i know my cups but for now we will worry about that when episode 20 comes out but episode 19 we're here rochdale south end and Accrington Stanley. Let's start off here with Rochdale. Come on, boys. All right. So, big rotation to the squad here for this game against Rochdale. Uh, here at Holker Street, uh, we have uh, Aro, Sheving, and Damian Curry in the front three. Craig McQuillan, Farouk Bockhorn, and Barry Smith in the midfield three. Iglesias, Bon, Edgar, and Bryn Joan gets a start in the back line of defense. And Kai Phoenix... Hold down that goalkeeping spot for the boys. We need three points once again, boys. They're a little bit tired. We're pretty fresh. It's a rotated side, but we need three points. Come on, boys. Big effort needed from the boys today. Barrow, Rochdale, come on now, boys. Let's get three points. Daniel Bond did well to force him into a bad cross. Couldn't keep the ball though, but Iglesias does well to win it back. Can there be a counter? Aro. Vino Aro. Early ball. Maybe. Arnar. Sheving. Oh, probably should have taken a touch. I rushed that one. That one's on me. That one is 100% on me. I could have br brought that down and got him a better shot. We go out wide. Damien Kari. Barry Smith. McQuillan gets a turn. Couldn't skip past his man, but almost found Farouk. It might have popped up. It did, and it's a penalty shout for the ref. He decides to go along with it, and it's going to be... Oh, it did touch Robert on the hand. Well then, who do we have take this? Who's standing over yet? Aro has decided to stand over. 59 penalties. You know what, Vino? Why not? Going to his left. Oh, he smashed it off the post. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that one couldn't have gotten any closer. Unlucky for Aro, but that's kind of what I get for trying to aim top bins. We also seem to be having some uh, color issues uh, down on the on the little display at the on the bottom. I don't know what's going on there, but we got blue and gray. And a whole bunch of other gray, but Arnar Shevings through. Oh, Clark blocked the second shot from Arnar. I think that was going in too. He picked up his own rebound, and I, I genuinely think that was going in. I think that was going to find the back corner had Clark not put in that, that block. But McQuillan on the corner now for the boys. The ball is in. O'Connell gets up. Lynch punches out for Rochdale. Can Arnar get to this one? Yes, he does. Nicely done, son. Farouk. Find the run, boy. There it is. Craig McQuillan. Oh, yes, son. The ball was intercepted, but Craig McQuillan stays with it. Nicks the ball off the defender. And that's a goal for the boys. 1-0. That's what we like to see. You always keep your run going. You never give up. Even if the defender picks it off, you keep your run going. Maybe you can nick it off of him and get in. And that's exactly what happened there. Nicely done, son. 1-0 now for Barrow just before the half. Let's keep this running. Come on, boys. Nope. Not a, not on Daniel Bonds watching. That's going to be half time. So far, 1-0. Need to be a little bit crisper passing out of the back. But other than that, 
We've had our opportunities. Unlucky to miss the penalty. But I'm sure there will be plenty more chances to come here in this second half to build our lead. Come on, boys. Second half now as Rochdale kicks it off. 1-0 is the score for the boys in blue. Let's go get one more to share this one up. Come on, boys. Beasley. Morley. Beasley. Once again, back to Morley. It's a shot and a save from Kai Phoenix. Nicely done, my son. Very, very nicely done. Stayed composed and stayed big. Nicely done. Corner now for Rochdale after the huge save. Ball is in. Arnar heads away. Only as far as whoever that guy was. That's off the post. And we don't clear it, even though I'm smashing circle. Thanks, EA. Beasley gets a cheap, cheap goal there for Rochdale. I don't know what was going on in the back. I'm smashing circle. Let's see this. We get a great block in off the post. I'm smashing circle for Barry to get it out, and he's just like, nah. I'm going to try and dribble this out, and Beasley just kind of nicks it off of him and places it home. Pathetic inputs, but Rochdale getting equalizer. Hopefully we can get the winner now. 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a nice ball inside. Damien Carr, can he slip through? Unlucky not to. Arnar knocks down for Aro. Goes McQuillan. Oh. Almost there from the boys, but still with us. Maybe we can pick it out here. Iglesias goes for the ball in. McLaughlin puts in a nice block. Corner now for Barrow. Late in this one. Can we find it? Shevin goes to McQuillan. No need to rush. Bryn Joan. Oh, the center back playing right back. Found himself a little hole. Almost slotted that one home. But just wide off of that post. McQuillan. Does he find someone? Maybe. Trying to go out wide. Aro. Getting back on his right foot. Will Iglesias run? He does, but elects not to play it to him. Oh, the run was there from Kari. Oh, the run was Kari. And I saw it late. And that's going to be a draw here in the first match. Rochdale won. Barrow won. A very good performance from the reserves and rotations. Saw some very good things from Bryn Joan, Damian Kari. Vaino Aro just has to put things away, you know? We'll take the point, though. Even though we're not getting threes, as long as we're not losing games, we're perfectly fine. A draw is nice. It's one point added. Let's get added in the next one. Come on, boys. Well, here we are back again. Game number two. South End United play host to Barrow. Hoping for three points this time after a very well deserved 1-1 draw with Rochdale. Unlucky not to get the three points in that one, but you know what? I feel the three points coming in this one. Let's go get three points, boys. Come on now. Typical starting 11 from the boys in blue. Taking on the boys in Navy here. South and United, Barrow. Let's get it, boys. Three points are a must. Bege going down the line. Elliot. Back to Eric Bega, who continued his run. Gets a nice touch. Going for the cutback dribble. And he'll go back to Kavanaugh. Briam inside. Muller with a nice touch through for Ashbourne, who slots it home. 20 minutes in. The boys in blue take the lead. Come on, boys. Let's keep this up. Let's have a nice little attack going. Very calm. Gregor found it first time. And a first time finish from Ashbourne as he beats the center back. Inside, right on the penalty spot as well. Class finish, son. Beautifully done. The Bluebirds take the lead. It's 1-0 for Barrow. Let's keep it up, boys. Very disruptive there in the midfield. 
has Gregor Muller been all day long? Well, ref calls it there. I guess he didn't expect that ball to get through to Laune. So, 1-0 at the break for the boys in blue over South End. Going to need a little bit more going forward. We're not letting them have a chance, which is great. But let's get a couple more goals to secure this victory. Come on, boys. Ezraeli gets us kicked off here. 1-0 for the boys in blue. Let's go get one more. Share up three points and be able to celebrate. Come on, boys. Sergey Jordanson almost cut that out, though. Guard inside for Rush. Michael Speak is on the scene. Nothing gets through him. Sergey Jordanson going out wide. Laune is all by himself. What happened there from the left back? Or the right back for South End? He recovered nicely, though. Kavanaugh. Really wish Tonye would have cut that inside. Bege. Elliot. Right. Oh, smacks the post. I was so ready to start celebrating there. Smacked it straight into the post. Come on, son. Looking for that bottom corner. Unlucky. Michael speak. No need to rush anything. Just have to play calm. The goal will come. Gregor Muller going out wide for Bega. Can he ping it? Yes, he does. What a ball that is. Inside. Brian, first time. Second time, actually. And it's second goal for Ashbourne as well. Bega cuts it back inside. Ashbourne takes one quick touch to set him up nicely. And slots it past the keeper. 2-0 for the Bluebirds. And that's a second for Icelandic men. Very nice ping out from Gregor Muller. Smacks it near post. Briam's going to make that one look easy. Very nicely done. Ashbon Briam makes it 2-0 for the boys in blue. Let's keep this one up, boys. Come on. Oh, yes. One us a free kick there, did Ezra. And I don't know. I know Neil can hit a good one. Gregor Muller can hit a nice one, too. Oh. You know what? It's going to stay with the captain. Can he put this on top bins? Going for a little bit of dip. Oh, puts it inside. Wanted him to go outside, but... Oh, how close was that one? Oh, pretty close. think the keeper had it covered, but... Man, would that have been good if that had gone in. I know why Nathaniel George. Adorante messes up that tackle. But wins the interception. Very nice. Laune. Briam. Going forward, Ezra Elliott. Use your strength, son. That's a strong man. That's a strong man right there. Bodyguards. The ball keeps Hobson off of him and just about cleans this one up for us, securing the three points. Very nicely done, son. Flex your muscles. Beautifully, beautifully well done, son. Don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That was just... Uh, roid rage, yeah. Power. Goal number nine on the year for Ezra. Nice, son. It's 3-0 for Barrow here against South End. Surely now that'll wrap this one up. Speak puts in a nice tackle. Guard still with Egbre. He takes too long to get it forward. Ref's seen enough. 3-0 for Barrow here away from home against South End. I will take the three points through and through. Beautiful goals from the boys. Very strong attacking performance very strong defensive performance as well picking up a clean sheet that is what we like to see this is a complete performance through and through dominated the ball south end couldn't do anything i don't think they really had a shot to test out kai phoenix but three points i love to see it let's get on to the next one. Oh well they had a couple shots but i don't think any of them really tested kai phoenix at all so not a problem with me Three points are in the bag. All right. Back for game number three. Here we are. Accrington Stanley. 
come into Hulker Street to take on Barrow. Good three points in the last performance against South End United. <sighs> Excuse me. Going to be looking for it once again here at home. Five in the back for Accrington. Four three three for us. Just got to keep our attacking power rest and good defensive performance going. Same starting 11. Laune, Elliott, and Becca up front. Brian, Muller, and Kevin on the midfield. Adorante, Speak, Sigurd Jornsson, and Tonye in the back line of defense with Kai Phoenix handling the goalkeeping duties. It's the end of October. Let's get a win. Come on, boys. Here we go. Three points are a must here against Accrington Stanley. Let's go get them. Let's continue our momentum, boys. Come on now. Charging forward is Accrington. They have numbers. Out wide. Parrott inside Fernandez. Charles going forward for Russell. Oh, he slipped that one through. I thought Michael Speak was going to get the toe to it to keep it out, but or Kai Phoenix to make the save, but just enough speed on that one to slip past both of our defenders. I was also scared of putting a slide tackle because knowing the mechanics, I would have just taken Russell out completely rather than put the block in. Unlucky for the boys in the back. And... Oh, well. Accrington one, Barrow nil. Got to stay awake, boys. Got to come out firing. And they did just that. Tunye. Charging forward. Can the left back or the right back find us some space? Muller. Why not have it from distance, son? Oh, just above. Just over the bar there from Gregor Muller. Unlucky. Michael Speak picks that one off. Gregor Muller looking out wide. Going forward, Ashbourne, Briam. Ezra Elliott, finish. Yes, sir. What you can do, we can do better. Ezra Elliott, 10th goal of the year and levels the scoring here at Holker Street. 1-1. One, one. That's how you do it. Passing doesn't get any better than that from the boys in blue. Let's keep it going, boys. Vega going out wide. Ashbourne Briam. Oh, that's nice. Ezra to Vega. Can't finish, though. Oh, that was a nice little flick from Ezra. Vega drove his toes and laces through that one and just couldn't find that back post. Literally shaved that post, surely. Ezra Elliott picks that one up. Looking for Briam, but... It's a little too far in front. Laune. Briam. Back inside. Laune! Yes! Uh, keeper makes a mistake. Kavanaugh picks it up. And the front four are going to just work their passing magic. Alexander Laune finds a finish there. Oh, yeah. Very quick. Easy money on the left foot. Definitely scuffed that one, but you know what? A scuffed goal is still a goal. I'll take it. Very nicely done to answer back. 2-1 here at Holker Street. The boys in blue back in front. Maguire goes back for Butcher. Back out wide for Maguire. All of Sega Jornsson was out to cover. Gajic. Skits past Kavanaugh. Charles. Gregor Muller's in there putting in a tackle. Russell. Adorante gets a titch. Still with Russell, though. Gajic. No fouls, boys. No cheap penalties. Oh, Gregor Muller couldn't intercept that one. Goes out wide. Maguire skits past Vega going for the top of the box. Fernandez heads down. I don't know what Accrington's doing here. They're not really getting anywhere close to the goal. Just passing around. 
And William Antonio says enough of that. There it is. There's the ball through. Ezra Elliott, he's through. Surely finish. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Counter-attacking at its finest. Accrington had no intent of going to score, so he said, you know what? Give us the ball. We'll go do it for you on the other end. Easy money to fly forward. Ezra Elliott's never going to miss those one-on-one -on -one chances. Not like that. Smashes past the keeper. 3-1. And that's how you assert your dominance, ladies and gentlemen. Barrow, go down 1-0 early. And, well, Accrington, no response after our first one. Turns into three. Very nicely done. Is it a fourth? Laune smashes it right at Baxter. And Maguire puts it out for a corner for us. Thanks, mate. Ref's going to call it a half there. 3-1. Very nicely done from the boys to answer back here against Accrington. And, well, surely more goals are going to come. Laune and the rest of the boys up front have been terrorizing that back five for Accrington. So, surely more goals are to come for the boys in blue. Let's get to it. Second half begins now here from Holker Street. Let's get this one done and over with. Maguire waltzes down the line, cuts it back. Butcher, Kavanaugh is not going to have any of that. Go on then. Ezra Elliott, can he get through for his hat trick? Yes, he does. There it is for Ezra Elliott. I believe that's his second or third on his career for the boys in blue, but that is how you finish it. Very nicely done. Good run. Good pass from Neil. And that's a classy, classy finish. Very nicely done. Goal number 12 for the number 9. Ezra Elliott completes his hat trick early in the second half. And it's 4-1 here at Holker Street. The boys are running riots. Sheriff goes out wide for Parrott. Adorante, very nice defense there from Manolo. And a counterattack coming for the boys in blue. Briam, oh, big, it was just off sides. Looked down the line, thought he was on. Just off, unlucky. Oh, Gregor Muller's through. Surely, oh, almost had five there, but Baxter makes a nice save on Gregor Muller's attempt. Out for a corner, though. So it's still here. Ball is in. Barclay puts it into his own net. And it's five for the boys in blue. Kavanaugh claims it, but we all know what this one's going to be. Very simple. Barclay just... Nice jump. Second two. Because Michael Speak got up, but... Off the head. Straight into that corner. Maguire's not going to save it. Cameron, oh, it's Cameron Burgess' own goal. I thought it was. Burgess puts it into his own net. Accrington suffer once again. Five goals to one for the boys in blue. Three changes for the boys. As one, Bream is off. Eric Big is off. And I believe it's Laune as well. Arnar Sheving, Damien Carre, and Barry Smith are all on. For the boys in blue to close this one out. I don't want to go and score again, but at the same time, a sixth goal was asking to come. There it is. Ezra Elliott gets a fourth, and it's 6 1. Barrow absolutely torching Accrington Stanley, showing pure superiority here. All I said was, I'm not down for another goal, but I'm down for another goal. And Ezra goes and shows me we're down for another goal. It simply does not get better than this. Six goals to one here against Accrington Stanley. Very, very nicely done for the boys in blue.
Charles. Oh, Michael, what are you doing, son? Nice save, Kai. Michael Phoenix has a little lapse trying to get forward and intercept that one, but Kai Phoenix, quick for the reflexes. Falls in, Adorante heads away off the corner. Sama. Tonye all over him. Sheriff. He likes to go backwards. Parrots. Into the middle. That's a lot of players and not a lot of blue. Fortunately, they don't know how to finish anymore. They got their one cheap one at the beginning and nothing since. Owakwe. Inside Charles. Back to Owakwe. Charles once again. Michael Speed gets the touch and that's going to end it. A six goal performance from Barrow. Four goals from Ezra Elliott alone. Takes his match ball. And that's a beautiful win from the boys. Another one in the books. A beautiful three points. And that will do it for this one. Great performance from the boys all throughout the episode. Really showed our attacking power. I'll take it. Accrington thought they had something going when they scored the first goal. Barrow goes for six unanswered, though. We're just better. We're just different. Well, then. The boys up front really turned it around after that very first game against Rochdale. Once the starting 11 got back to normal, the boys just decided to run riot. And hopefully we see it again in this next upcoming game against FA in the FA Cup against Accrington once again. But that'll do for episode 19. Please hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Turn on post notifications if you haven't already. And be ready for episode 20 as we get into massive, massive cup runs and look to build on all of this winning form. It's nice to see it back. The Operation Sports uh, sliders have maybe proven to be a little too easy. I'll be looking into some new ones maybe in a later episode. But for now, we won't jump the gun just yet because we are a pretty good side. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.